Let's start this in three, two, one. Welcome back to Orwell. We are playing Orwell. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Orwell. Uh, we are investigating Miss Cassandra Watergate and we're learning more about the party. But right now, we're going to check out her timeline. Whoa. Okie dokie. Status. You're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. Pop artist and free thinker. Your birthday was September 13th, 1992. Obviously into art, music, and activism. Art, music, activism. What a lineup. Took the words right out of my mouth. The targets. The targets. Painting, Alice in Wonderland, my cat, Kiku, <laughs> Ki Kiku, Ki Ki Kiku, wait, Ki Kiko, Ki Kiko, Ki Kiko, Ki Kiko. <laughs> um, let's see. Cassandra Watergate posted on March first, two thousand seventeen, at eleven o one a.m. Woohoo! First day in first day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Only 12 people liked it. Um, Jake Clefton. What? Who's going to pay for your stuff now? Mommy and Daddy won't like this. Uh, listen, Jake. I am not Daddy's little girl anymore. My art already got me a lot of money. More than enough to pay all my bills. Don't you worry about me. Cassandra Watergate posted on January 29, 2017. Despise... Despise. Oh, despise puppets of the state. I did say that right. <laughs> it's kind of late, so I was like, am I reading that right? Uh, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but to congratulate you. There are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck all you government lackeys. Most painfully, Cassandra... Imagine that. Only two people liked it. Probably because they were terrified that they were like, if they like this, they're, they're going to be on that government watch list. Well, well, Miss Watergate. We aren't too fond of you either. Mm, Mary Bly. Sweetie, what is the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. You got to get out from time to time. You'd feel much better. Mary, you just shut your freaking mouth, okay? <laughs> I am not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again, cannot deal with this right now. What? Okay, you know what? I am really sorry that I still care about my best friend, no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that's in the past now. Changed a statue or status on August. Is in a relationship with Joseph Langer, not a member. Huh. She's in a. How come her parents don't know that then? You're telling me in this day and age that their parents didn't know? Wait, what is this conflict? How sad. <laughs> he's so like <laughs> pretty sure he's just a robot. <laughs> like, even in the story, he's just a robot. <laughs> Joseph Langley. Cassandra Warrior, a client of lawyer in a relationship with in a relationship. Hmm, let's disable that. 
Let's hide their relationship. Let's see what happens when I hide their relationship. Cassandra Watergate posted on August 10th, 2016 at 5.05 p.m. The Beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed of this shit. But surprise, surprise, I had to mention the speculation over my parents buying me out. Makes the click counts go boom, doesn't it? The National Beholder TNA. Procedure closing raised manipulation suspicion. Investigation of malicious injury of police officer closed to lack of evidence. Speculation raised over manipulation of the parents of the accused. The leading newspaper of the, nas the nation. Fast, precise, and honest. Can I take that? Oh, I can click. Oh, that just takes me back to the original article. Okay, cool. At least you are redeemed now. Want to blow off steam together with with a little late night shopping tour at Mary. Not today. I have a date this evening. Heart. Pfft. Oh, who's the lucky one? Case closed. <laughs> I guess she's hinting at what's his face. Congratulations. I've never had any doubts about it. Kiddo, you've, you're my heroine in both the heroic and the drug way. <laughs> a thousand cams on the plaza, but no proof. We've shown the world this dirty surveillance machinery only exists to intimidate and mislead the people into believing most false promises. Cams for safety, one big lie. Oh, I can't take his name. I was like, well, I'm about to put you in the system. Wow, I am so happy for you. I knew everything would be okay in the end. Shall we have an awesome Cassandra Freedom Party on Friday? Leave it to women to come up with a cute, awesome name. Uh, Cassandra Watergate August. Oh, thank you guys I am so happy I am sure you heard the load fall off my mind Harrison yeah I will totally write an article on, your, on, your, on our blog Juliet of course I am so in changed her portrait that concert was amazing <laughs> so amazing <laughs> I just had to give a my hair a little makeover. So without further ado, how do you like it? What if that's not really her? Like, what if that's not really her? I mean, the, the, the game kind of planted that seed in my brain already, but now I'm starting to really wonder, like, is that really her? <laughs> like, what if, what if this is just, you know, like she literally fell off the face of the earth and someone else is just kind of filling in to make it look like she's still there. But let's find out. Oh my God, what happened to your beautiful hair? Why didn't you ask me before going to the stylist? We could have gone together. Oh no. Uh, Cassie's going pink. <laughs> Did mommy and daddy agree with that? This guy over here looks nice. That's a whole new, that's a whole new you. You also need a new name then. What about Casarthus? Is that what it is? Casarthus? That's funny. That's clever. Me likey. So, hinge forth. Cassandra shall be known worldwide as Casarthus. You don't say. An alias name. You know people on the web. So many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can go match data chunks or target persons whenever they're using them. That's the spirit, kiddo. Now I'd like to invite you to our little activist group. If you want to join us, it would be nice to have you with us to protest on the Freedom Plaza on Friday. Just discovered this hot new band, The Targets. Man, do they rock hard. <laughs> God, this is kind of corny. They're playing a concert in the cell next week. Who's coming along? Mary, I'm looking at you. Uh, punks. Not really my style. Sorry, C sorry, Cass. Can we just go see Cherry Cheeks sometime? Cherry Cheeks? Cherry Cheeks? That sounds like a strange porno. There are not just some punks. Their lead singer is a real cutie, and they have this cool guitarist girl. Plus, they've got a message. What not to like? No, sorry, it's not for me. 
bah, already. You're one missing out. I'll have them all for myself then. Ooh la la, wee oui, wee, oui. non? <laughs> non? <laughs> my French is lacking. Having an amazing shopping tour with my Mary, the best friend of all times. A former conflict with another dad chunk. Finished timeline shows. It was solved. What's the conflict? Oh. Because she was like being sarcastic. I get it. An activist group. Is there anything more specific? Oh, come on. I was teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Wait. Oh. Joseph Langley. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know I have a history with that place. Go on. Already fuck, already fucking me up. Enough that I had to catch a bus from you every day. Too many bad memories, and now I was just moments before this happened. Uh, I should have never gone to that damn pro, uh, that damn protest, darling. You don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. I was happy when Goldfells accepted me in, into thought. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Think of it this way, if you would not have gone to the protest, then you never would have been wrongfully indicted, and then we, would never, we never would have met. Yeah, and I would have been called a terrorist in all the papers. You are not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I feel like they kind of have a little bit of distrust between each other. Oh, damn it. What? Oh, uh, do you know where we're watching? Your card's not, your card's not working here. Can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Oh, because we shut it down. Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on there. I guess we'll have to go without wine then. Uh. Oh, maybe he was talking about her. I didn't catch that. Here's the thing. I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprising out of schedule and I can't postpone it. You've got to be kidding me. I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment. Appointment here, appointment there, appointment every fucking where. <laughs> how can you constantly do this to me? Darling, please just calm down. I like how she got so upset that, like, she put a one. Because she put, like, exclamation mark and then a one. Like, that happens so much. Please calm down. Have you taken your methorin? Yes, damn it. Is the only thing that matters to you. Then I am on fucking happy pills all day. Darling, please, it's nothing like that, and you know it. So keep in my so keep my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up at this appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh, no, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now? Cassie. <laughs> Cassie, don't be like that. <laughs> I get it. I guess I'm not just an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie going on now is getting into the priority list of yours anytime soon. Oh, I guess she stopped. Alright, well, let's go collect that data chunk. She takes methorin. What's the methorin? Can you look it up for me, please? Yep. Um... Methorin. Let's find that that good old happy drug. Products. Right here, baby. Well, where is it at? Antidepressant. Oh, come on, just click. Upload complete. She might be emotionally unstable if she's relying on this medication. You don't say, robot. Robot Semes. Looking at what you have extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. 
How is that dangerous? You're a robot. I will indicate that to low or law enforcement. Torture myself with whimsies. It's kind of a creative, creative little trophy they give you. Um, antidepressants. Let's find something before we end this. Let's let's look at her timeline again. Can't click on any of that. Gotta do something. I don't really want to put this in there. I feel like Winston right now, like the protagonist of. Uh, 1984 just going through this and like deciding this young woman's fate like it's intriguing but at the same time you feel dirty for doing this even though this is not real like if you if you just sit here and think about like man like I literally gave them information that was readily available and then they sculpted it and then tried to say that she's a dangerous individual because she takes uh, she takes antidepressant pills and <sighs> it's interesting can I take this picture? no I'll marry my best friend of all time hmm. depressive okay so let's look at her profile really quick before we get out of here Okay, so she takes antidepressants, invited into an activist group by Harrison O'Donnell, formerly junior COO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals, criminal case closed due to lack of evidence. This is pretty much the story I'm creating for this lady. Like, it's, it's like I'm splitting f fact hairs. Daughter of pharmaceutical entre entrepreneurs, quit previous job to focus on our career. Previously arrested for an assault. Okay. Let's see. Pers let's see. Depressive. Opposes the government vehemently. Has an interest in art, music, and activism. Stole a credit card from Joseph Wangley. She, oh, she has an alias too. That's her account. Wow, this is a intriguing game. I'm glad I'm playing it, but it's uh it's a little slow. I'm sure it's gonna pick up though. And I'm sorry if you're watching and you're like, man, you are a terrible reader and like you don't know how to play these point and click games. <laughs> just just have a little patience and uh just and just enjoy the ride. Let me read to you. Let me share these people's lives with you oh man that's interesting that they allow you to uh, pick what picture you want for her portrait it's almost like like it's like subliminally being like yo pick a picture that you feel like is going to decide her like who she is <laughs> I mean like look like they have like those happy ones, right? And then they have like, you know, somewhat like obviously that one looks much more sinister, if that's even a good word for that. But she looks more of a criminal in these two. And then in these two she looks just like a happy go lucky lady. Alright, let's try to find a little bit more before I go. It's hard to put down. Is there anything else I missed? Incoming session. What do you mean there's incoming session? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go to it. Yeah, here we go. Um, what about Joseph Langley, her love interest? 
We don't even have a portrait for this guy. I think we need a portrait for this guy. <laughs> I need a portrait for this guy. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think there's a picture here. Maybe not. Hmm. Let's find out how I need to go. Find out what might have caused her to change her character in between now and before her presumed attack on a police officer. Well, I guess we're going to stop there. Um, let's find out in the next few episodes whether or not Miss Cassandra... Miss Ca er, let's go back. Miss Cassandra here is really guilty of her crimes that she's been hit with earlier in her life. And let's see uh, a little bit more about who she is and what kind of connections is she, that she has maybe to uh, to like a, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I was trying to think of something smart to say, but like like a secret organization kind of going against the government. Or even if that's even that at all. Or maybe they're just looking for scapegoats because there actually are people doing that maybe? I don't know. Or maybe they're just trying to use them as scapegoats to use as an example so that people don't fall out of line. I don't know. But the narrative in this game is very interesting. I'm uh, getting more and more pulled in. And to the developers, if you're watching this, please, in the future, add some voice lines. <laughs> please. Oh, I like reading it more than the next person, okay? Or as much as the next person. But, man, it really makes a difference when you can kind of, I don't know, it takes a little bit of the load off. Anyways, well, I hope to see you in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to try and figure out this mystery in the next episode, so come back.